I was born in the middle of the ocean, you could say that. Um, I'm originally from uh, Piku, a small island in the middle of the Atlantic. I met this amazing gentleman uh, in 2009 and we had dinner with him and he, he said, oh, I was in Portugal talking to fishermen about going to fish and hunt sharks for squale. Like, what? Why would you do that? Well, because, you know, from sharks, it's the best way you get it. It's pure, it's fantastic. It's just, it's an amazing oil. In a lot of places where these fisheries for the squale occur, people don't even recognize them because they tend to be in small villages, they tend to be obscure places where people don't know. A lot of the drivers, there's a market for it. People will come in and buy it in these different little villages I'll go to where they're fishing the squaling. Well, there was no fishery three years ago. They started fishing it because somebody wanted to buy the squaling, so they literally went to target these things. We're not really sure how many sharks are killed for squalling every year. It's been flying under the radar for so many years, we have really not been paying attention, and there's not that much data. Two molecules that are widely used in the world from shark liver oil. Squalane is used in cosmetics, skin care, personal care, and has been around for over 100 years. And then there's squalene, same family of chemistry but a different molecule, which is actually used uh, as an ingestible dietary supplement, and it's also used for adjuvants and vaccines. An adjuvant will do is boost the response, so you'll get higher antibody titers, for example. Uh, or you can use less of the immunogen, the protein that induces immunity. So adjuvants can be very important at making vaccines better and more effective. I really spent a lot of time thinking about it, and I came back and spoke to our scientists, and I realized we don't need to kill sharks to do these things. And that's how we came up with the idea that we would start with sugarcane and through fermentation and chemistry make these two molecules. So we had already solved the, the supply chain problem. What we do is harvest the sugar cane and that goes into a fermentation that produces a, a product that Amris already produces by fermentation on the scale of thousands of tons a year. We then take that product which is readily available and that undergoes uh, some chemistry, standard chemistry and that is what produces the vaccine-grade squalene. We consider sharks the white blood cells of the ocean. And every species of shark has a particular, very finely tuned job in an ecosystem. Sharks are high level in the food chain. And because they're important, because they feed on other fishes, invertebrates, and other marine life in there. So they're kind of important in regulating the populations of these other species that, where they occur. If you remove sharks, take them out of there, you're gonna have catastrophic events occurring within the ecosystem there, where basically the, you'll have this explosion of a lot of these species that there's no top-down predation on them. And what could happen from there, the cascading effects, we don't know. We think we really have a change on the world, increasing sustainability, and products that people want, and products that people need, and that society needs. My whole idea to move the world towards sustainable consumption is little by little, go after the ingredients that are in the products they buy every day, and make those ingredients sustainable versus their current source. And that excites me, and it may seem like a little thing, but I think that is how we make our planet better, do our small part, get passionate and committed, and believe there's an alternative that can get delivered without sacrificing the things we enjoy every day. When that happens, and all of us commit individually, we'll be a wonderful place, I have no doubt.